Leicester and Leicestershire are well known for their sporting achievements and there are 13 major sporting venues and clubs in the area. The sport industry consisted of about 9,000 workers prior to COVID. You can check out the Related World of Work video from the Leicester and Leicestershire Enterprise Partnership for more information on the types of career opportunities in sport. In this video, we're going to focus on what subjects or courses could help you on a career pathway in sport. So, you can study a variety of subjects and still end up in the sports sector if that's where you want to be. More young people study sports related courses than there are available jobs within the sports sector. So think about which part of the sector you'd like to work in, what qualifications or skills you need, and what you need to develop for the best chances of success. Most jobs or roles don't require you to have studied a particular course to do the job, but there are some within the sport industry that may require more formal qualifications. For example, if you're interested in becoming a strength and conditioning coach, a sports nutritionist, or a physiotherapist. If you're interested in a career within sport, then having strong maths, English, and science GCSE grades may be beneficial. We need people from all walks of life. You don't have to be really sporty. You might have just started a new journey in the last 12 months and now are so inspirational that you could inspire others to do just that. And you might be just the person that we're waiting to talk to. The sports industry covers a variety of different roles. You've got a real opportunity to start doing some research into your future career now, and you have to think about whether there are any specific subjects you need to do in order to get onto your next move when it comes to choosing your post-16 or post-18 choices. Until you start specialising in something on a higher education course or an apprenticeship, when it comes to picking subjects at sixth form or college, courses such as business, PE or sport, geography and biology might give you a good basis of knowledge. Loughborough College, for example, offer a BTEC Level 3 in Sport and Exercise Science. This course explores different areas of employment in the sports sector, but focuses as well on sports science. It offers you a solid foundation in the various aspects of sports, enabling you to develop the skills necessary for gaining employment in the sports sector or progressing into higher education. However, do bear in mind that some universities may require an additional A-level alongside the BTEC Level 3 in Sport and Exercise Science. There's such an incredible array of roles from coaching and delivering where you would need a coaching instructor's award through to sports technology where you would need engineering and, and, or a business background. The important thing is to think about the role that you want to do and look at the skills and the qualifications required to get into that role. Careers in the sports industry, like many sectors, require a variety of transferable skills. After sixth form or college, remaining in education or training can help to improve some of those transferable skills, such as researching and presenting ideas for discussion, creative thinking to help problem solving, interpersonal skills to form relationships with a variety of different people, and working in teams with different people. Even people of all ages gain new experiences, so communication, problem solving skills and people skills will be something that you would naturally gain by being part of the sport and physical activity community. There are lots of local apprenticeships within the sports industry, so checking out Leicester and Loughborough College's apprenticeship vacancies pages to find out more. Companies like Coach Corps offer the Leicester Coach Corps Apprenticeship Programme, which has an exciting range of placements across Leicestershire, including in boxing, cricket, rugby union and gymnastics. Going to university and completing an undergraduate degree or continuing at college to do an HND or HNC is likely to be your next step to a career in sport if an apprenticeship isn't for you. Courses such as sport and exercise science, sport management or sports coaching at undergraduate level are examples of some courses that will help you build up your expertise in particular areas and give you a strong base to start a career in sport. There will be the opportunity to apply what you learn in lectures into the real world by working on projects with other students guided by those research experts. I think if people have people skills they do brilliantly in face-to-face -face roles and work with people. But that's not to say that's the only thing, because behind the scenes, <clears throat> people are analysing data, managing accounts, managing projects, working on websites, looking at sports technology, trying to plan for innovation. So an array of skills exist behind all the organisations that offer sport and physical activity opportunities. So if you have attention for detail, or if you prefer to work with people, or you have an array of different skill sets, but a passion for sport and physical activity, have a look. They're probably a job for you. I want to introduce you to Abby, a second year sport and exercise science student at Loughborough University. 
At school, Abby did the compulsory GCSE options, so English, Maths and Google Science, and then chose to do French, Citizenship, Food Technology, Dance and History. However, she soon realised that history was not for her and chose to change to PE. She felt that all of her GCSE options were a great experience for her as they helped her develop a number of different skills, particularly boosting her confidence. This, and not being certain on what university degree she wanted to study, meant though that she wasn't sure which subjects to carry on to A-levels. Ultimately, Abby received a piece of advice to go for subjects she enjoyed as it would help her have more success in her studies if she was passionate about it. This meant she chose to do PE, her passion, as well as biology and maths as she felt she would be looking at doing science-related courses at university. Abby's love for practical sessions and an interest in the science behind the body and sport meant that she was looking at human biology, nutrition, food science and sports science courses. Again, Abby was unsure about what career she wanted to do and so it left her uncertain about which university course to choose. In the end, she listened to advice from friends again, as well as her teachers, and went with the course she felt most passionate about and enjoyed the most, which is a piece of advice she wants to share with you all as well. This led her to choose sport and exercise science at Loughborough University, where she needed to take at least one science-based subject to get on the course. And luckily, all three of her options were considered a science-related course by Loughborough. Abby feels she has developed so many different skills throughout her course. She gets involved in a lot of group work where she enjoys meeting and working with new people. That has also helped her confidence grow so much as well. Her academic knowledge has obviously grown, but has also been able to put that knowledge into practice, which has been amazing for her. She's also seen her presentation and communication skills improve, and all of these skills are what has helped her get a placement next year with a sports rehabilitation hospital to put her skills into practice. Abby's advice for anybody interested in studying sport and exercise science, or even a course similar, is that not all courses are the same at universities. Even if they have the same subject title, each university will have different focuses, assessments and topics on their courses. So you really need to do your research first to make sure it's the right fit for you. You can hear more about Abby's experience by visiting the Pathways YouTube channel and watching our Interview With series. Search for Pathways EM on YouTube to find us. UCAS.com is the place to go to find out more information on degree courses at university and college. The easy to use search function shows you all the courses offered by universities and colleges across the UK. And you can even filter down to courses just in the East Midlands if you'd like to stay close to home. There are thousands of courses that you could study related to sport across the UK, so make sure you take some time to research what topics are covered in these different courses and if they sound interesting or relevant to the career area you'd like to get into. For specific information on what subjects or routes might be beneficial for a career in sport, there are a number of sites to visit, including careers-in-sport.co.uk, targetcareers.co.uk and prospects.ac.uk.